Hey everybody, today I'm here with a little get ready with me. I'm gonna show you guys how I transform myself with some makeup and my new blue hair to, you know, get a little jazzy. All right, so I'm starting off with bare skin. I did already fill in my brows to save time, but I will link my brow video below if you wanna see that. I'm gonna begin with the eyes, and right here I'm just using a primer and blending that in all over my lids. Then I'm taking this brick red eyeshadow and sweeping that in my crease area. I'm gonna keep going back and forth with that and building up the color until it gets to about this intensity right here, yeah. All right, so now all over my mobile lid, I'm applying this light brown color. This is actually a bronzer, but today I'm gonna be using it as a shadow. I just kinda always like to play around with my makeup and use it in different ways. So yeah, I'm using this as a shadow today. And after that, I'm winging out my upper lash line with a liquid liner. I always kinda get nervous applying liquid liner on camera because I like to be super, super precise and trying to hold this little compact and be steady and make the line. It's just not the easiest thing in the world to do. So <laughs> yeah, but this turned out decent enough. So I guess, I don't know, it's fine. And then with a black pencil, I'm dragging that along my waterline to really define my eyes and get kind of like that deep set, deep dark look. A few coats of mascara on the top and bottom. And I know right here it doesn't look like I'm doing much because my natural lashes are super, super struggly, but I do it anyway. And then to give me some assistance, I'm popping on some false lashes. Get a little bit of drama going, open up the eyes and everything like that. Then I'm taking this matte black color and deepening up my outer edge. And that is all for the eyes for now. So I'm moving on to the face and I'm gonna use this concealer and apply that all around my under eye area and my nose. This just brightens it up, makes everything look a lot smoother and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. Then onto my foundation, want to even out my skin to make everything all one color. So I'm applying that all over and then buffing it in with this makeup sponge. Going back in with another concealer and I'm using this really lightweight creamy concealer because I like for my under eyes to be ever so slightly lighter than the rest of my face. I just really like that look. So I'm applying that and blending it in with the same sponge. Setting it with some translucent powder to prevent creasing and get a nice matte look. So this is the Laura Mercier powder and it's one of my absolute favorites because it's really lightweight, it's easy to work with, and it just makes my skin look really smooth. So right here I'm just brushing that away with a fluffy brush. And then to bring back some dimension in my face, I'm using this bronzer to sculpt my cheekbones, get more of a snatched, chiseled look. With that same bronzer and a small brush, I'm going to do a little contouring of the nose. And then for a nice little glow, I'm taking a highlight and applying that to the high points of my cheeks. Also going to take that highlight down the bridge of my nose and some on my cupid's bow. For the lips, I'm going to line them with this dark purple liner and then after I have lined them all around, I'm going to go in and fill in the rest with that color.
I'm gonna mix that with this pinkish liner and I'm applying that all over my lips so it turns that purple into a softer purple color. And then to smooth that out and add a little, kind of like a lip highlight, kind of like an ombre type of situation, I guess you could say, I'm applying this lip cream to the center of my lips. Makeup spray to get a nice flawless finish. And then I'm gonna go back over my lower lashes real quick and apply a little bit of that highlighter I used earlier into my inner corners. And bam, the makeup is all done. So onto the hair. Today I'm gonna to be rocking a wig I just got from RPG Show. It's a lace front wig and I washed it and blow dried it and this is just how it looks with no product, it comes straight. And I'm gonna be wearing a top knot style so I already sectioned off the hair in the wig for that. And then to prep for the wig, as you can see, I already laid down my edges. I always like to do that first. And I just left out this small section right here, which is gonna go up into the bun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. First, I'm using a stocking cap so everything stays flat and secure. Then I'm going to apply the wig. And when I'm doing this, I'm making sure to line up the parts in the wig with the parts in my hair. For the middle section, I'm gonna smooth that all up into a sleek ponytail. So I'm taking a little gel to smooth down my real hair and then I'm gonna brush all of that up and into a ponytail. Dividing the hair into two pieces, making a chunky twist. And then I'm gonna twist that around itself to make the bun. Then of course I'm gonna take some bobby pins and pin that in place. And then to help blend the wig a little better, cause right here you can see it doesn't look <laughs> that realistic. I'm taking a small brush and applying some foundation on the parting. Then I'm just gonna take my finger and blot that out. To even out the density and make the part look more uniform, I'm going in with a black eyeliner and filling in any gaps. I did that for both sides and now I'm gonna jazz up my edges a little bit and just brush them down and get a little swirl action going. And then once all that's taken care of, the last thing I'm gonna do is curl the bottom with my curling wand. For this, I'm just taking some medium sized sections of hair and curling that going towards my face. And this is the finished look, guys. It's kind of like a little ba ba boom action going on. I haven't done color in quite a long time. I really can't remember the last time I wore like a really fun color in my hair. So this is like a nice little change up. I'm just all into this blue right now. I love, love, love the color. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I will link all of the information on this wig down below as well as all of the makeup stuff that I use. I'll have all of that information underneath the video so thanks for watching as always and i'll see everybody on the next video bye